Hello everyone, welcome you again. This is Raju Mathu. On my last videos, I have shown you about the Table View API present in Titanium, which is generally used to display data in a row manner. Like here, you can see that there is a Table View which holds the different rows with the different data. Now, and also we have seen about the click event which can be associated with a specific row or we can also bind a click event to a to the table view which will comes into the play for all the rows so continuing with that let's dive deep on that same api so for today let's start with the row count now there might be a scenario where you don't know about the number of rows that are coming from the server or some specific apis which will bind the data into this your table view so how can you know about that number of rows so starting with that let's start on creating the view as we know that index.xml is the view which is the landing page of the application so we will also like start to code our table view or to display our table view with that same view so in order to do let's add a alloy tag where we will define our window which will hold all our UI elements let's add a background color for this window let's make it white now let's add the table view now we are going to add uh, some rows on the table I have added that num 10 rows so here you can see that I have added the title in such a way that we know we came to know about the number of rows but there might be a scenario where you uh, where you this not comes into the play where you need to find out the your own number of rows so let's check it on the simulator how it looks now there are different ways to get the number of total number of rows from a table so we will see few of them on this tutorial it's loading now here you can see that we have defined 10 number of rows here with this table now let's add a function or uh, with a click event of this table view so that on click of any of the rows we can get the number of rows present on the same table so let's add a on click event here L let's add a function called show column sorry show total rows total let's make it row number now this function must be defined on the related controller associated with this view so definitely this should be the index.js let's add the function now let's i'm going to add a variable which will hold the row count total row count so total row num now to get the total row number of the row we need to get or we need to catch that particular table for which we need to find or which for which we need to display the number of rows so here we will get that table by its id so let's define an id here for this table let's name it as a tbl now i'm going to get the number of rows here so let's call the table then gets all the rows here and get the number of row now 
that's it now let's display it on a alert message total rows here will be the total row number so let's run it and see what it display on the alert message on while on click of any of the row of the table so it's compiling the app now here it's loading now I hope on click of any of the row we will see the number of rows present on the table so let's click on any of the row here so here you can see that it shows total rows is 10 so by this way we can get the number of rows present on the table so there might be and continuing with that there might be a scenario where we will have multiple section with multiple rows so how uh, we can get the number of rows from with the different section so we will see these things on our on my next video so up to this today thanks